The following audio may contain the personal testimonials of some Optavia coaches or clients of Optavia. The results relayed in these messages are based on the unique experiences of the participants and we cannot guarantee like or similar outcomes. While you may be inspired by these accounts, please note that any stories of success have not been verified and your individual path to optimal health will vary. As always, it is our recommendation that you consult with a healthcare provider before starting a weight loss program. Yours in health, the Optavia team. Now for the next 30 minutes, we're gonna get a chance to talk about some amazing stories of transformations. We're gonna get a chance to celebrate some transformational stories around entrepreneur-minded professionals who embrace the Optavia Health Coach opportunity. In the next 30 minutes, we're gonna share with you not only how some everyday, everyday people became uh, entrepreneurial-minded people and became successful with the Optavia business opportunity, but how it happened how they took advantage of this amazing opportunity and how it worked for them, even though they all came from different walks of life. So if you're open to learning more about what it could mean to help other people to get healthier so that you could get healthier, we would enjoy for you to stick around for this amazing presentation. My story started 10 years ago. I was a business coach. I worked with business owners and entrepreneurs and I helped them to achieve their goals. My number one challenge was, I was not achieving my own goals in the area of health. And so another business consultant and coach friend of mine who became a client of Octavia introduced me and challenged me to try the program. I was not interested in becoming a health coach. That wasn't my interest. I was interested in getting healthy because as you can see from the picture on the left, my health was not doing well. I was unhealthy. I was 100 pounds overweight and I had been 100 pounds overweight my entire adult life. I graduated high school 327 pounds and I was an athlete for most of my younger years. And then the game changed and I ended up getting out of uh, athletics and I started becoming more sedentary. I started having children with my wife and all of a sudden life changed and motivation changed. And I fell out of the game of health and life. And so when I was introduced to this idea of becoming healthier, I had no interest in becoming a health coach because I didn't fully understand what it was but what I thought I knew of it, I didn't want to have any part of it. So if right now you're at a point where you're not really even sure that this is right for you, welcome to the club. Most of the top coaches in the country never grew up with the idea that they wanted to become a health coach. But what I saw in this program was not only a transformational physical experience, but I saw a transformational mental experience. And I saw a program that was teaching me how to create a better life, in teaching me behavioral principles that I had not learned in high school, college, or in my advanced training in becoming a peak performance coach to entrepreneurs. So what I had saw in this business model was not just this transformational system, but I saw a transformational business. I was an entrepreneur. I didn't think of myself as being a health coach, but I thought I could end up helping people to become healthy with this program and I knew that I could end up training health coaches to become successful because I was training other coaches and other successful people outside of the health industry. So I became a coach 10 years ago and it's been one of the most amazing experiences I've ever had. My daughter, as you can see in this picture on the right-hand side, she's a coach. She's now 19. Um, my family has gone from experience to experience with this amazing company called Optavia, and now it's my full-time career. I don't do any other business coaching or consulting. Why? Because I don't have to. I've helped people to get healthy, and I've helped those people to help other people to get healthy if they wanted to. And that was the business that I love to be in because there was no other business that could help me to become healthy while I was helping other people to become healthy. And I was doing it with coaching, not with being a salesperson, not with being some pushy person trying to constantly get somebody to get into business with them. I was offering people health. And if they wanted an opportunity, they could pursue it. This was an amazing business idea to me. And once I got a chance to meet Dr. Wayne Anderson and see the history behind this company, the rich medical heritage, the clinical studies. Dr. Wayne Anderson is the 10th physician board certified in critical care. He started the organization in uh, partnership with uh, Colonel Brad McDonald, 
18 years ago. Colonel Brad McDonald already had an existing business that was doing well. But what Dr. Anderson brought to him was a partnership, an idea that he brought out of the medical system that he thought he could end up changing healthcare. He, he thought that he could end up teaching people to take better care of themselves, self-care. He thought that self-care was the best kind of health care, so he started showing Colonel Brad McDonald what his plan was. And together, they have built one of the thriving companies on Wall Street. And also, uh, Forbes magazine ranked them as one of the uh, top 100 most trustworthy companies in 2016 and 2017. We've been on an amazing track record because we are using this idea of health coaching and partnering with people to help them to overcome the barriers to live a healthier lifestyle. This program and this company is not about weight loss and it's not about dieting. It's about teaching people how to create lifelong transformation by adopting one healthy habit at a time. We use a four component system. Each one of these components are interrelated. All four of the components are synergistic, adding value to each other. Our clients partner with a coach, the coaches partner with clients. This is not a sales proposition. You're not stocking products and you're not pitching and promoting. You're offering supportive services. You're offering caring and knowledgeable support. Using our health coach training system, our coaches learn how to support their clients one-on-one -on -one through the Healthy Lifestyle Program. And they're not telling their clients what to do and they don't have to become a nutritionist or dietitian or personal trainer. They're just simply guiding clients through a physician-led healthy lifestyle program. Dr. Wayne Anderson's book and workbook is written based on science, but it's not written in science. It's written to the common person that wants to change their health and their life, not because they want to go on another diet, but they want to create lifestyle transformation. They want to learn how to change their habits once and for all. And Dr. Anderson shows them how to do it in an easy step-by-step -step approach and showing them how to adopt one healthy habit at a time with the help of a health coach and a comprehensive lifestyle community. The Optavia community is a robust uh, virtual support system as well as a personal support system. We actually have services that are available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We have live events, virtual events, and we also have a registered dietitian and licensed nutritionist that are available to serve our clients even with the most challenging dietary restrictions, medical uh, backgrounds or experiences. This is a, an amazing program that allows people to fuel their body with healthy nutrition using our healthy fuelings and quality nutrition to perform at their very best. Clients are different in their individual approaches towards nutrition and health and activity. So what health coaches do is not try to put everybody into a specific plan they offer them options, different meal plans for different personality styles or personal interests and based on activity and medications, we're ending up providing people with options to help them to get very predictable results. Clients that wanna lose weight can lose weight very safely and very predictably. And they're using fuelings that are fast and convenient at the same cost as what they would be spending on healthy groceries. You see, what our program does is that it doesn't take money away from the discretionary income. It takes their food budget and it funds their health improvement. Some of our clients are trying to lose weight. Some of our clients are just maintaining weight. Some of our clients are actually trying to gain weight. Our program is not specific on weight loss and it's not dependent on somebody getting on to one particular plan. We customize a plan that meets everybody's needs. Now what I wanna introduce you to is a top performing uh, health coach on our organizational team. And Justin has uh, got an amazing story because he didn't come to Optavia with a need to lose weight. His strategy was deeper and more powerful and I can't wait for you to hear his story. Justin, welcome to the webinar. Thanks for having me, David. I'm really excited tonight to be, uh, I'm kind of more honored to be on this call. And um, you know, a lot of what you're saying is so true. And as I kind of start out with my story, um, one of the things I'd like for you guys that are on this call, whether you're coaches or whether you're thinking about joining us or, um, you know, clients, it doesn't really matter. But what I want, want you to really hear when I say this is preventative maintenance. And for myself, I guess that's really where my story starts. I started uh, coaching. Uh, February will be about six years. Um, I've been into health and fitness, uh, been in construction most of my life, but health and fitness was a hobby of mine. As most of us know, if you're personal trainers on this call, it doesn't pay the bills by any means. 
Um, so I was a construction guy. And um, uh, I started getting health, uh, healthy coming out of high school. I was the, the butterball in high school, uh, but I wanted to kind of get my health on track, started doing construction, getting healthy. And so I was fortunate enough that my coach reached out to me and didn't look at me as a weight loss person, um, but more of, a, of a, a business person to where this could uh, structurally change my whole life. And what I mean by that is, is I was really in a place where I was, I was hurting. I was uh, struggling in my relationship. I was struggling to pay bills. Um, I was 31 years old. Um, I worked really hard at whatever I did from when I was first starting my job from 13 all the way up to 31 where I found this. And so for me, I was working about 60 to 70 hours a week. Um, I got a $3 raise in a five-year period. I was making about $15 an hour. Uh, my, my boss used to debate with me uh, my hours. And so I really only got paid about 40 to 45 hours a week. And it was very frustrating for me. I could remember Christmas Eve's where I was trying to do payroll and uh, uh, doing these things and calling him and dealing with all this stuff while he's out with his family enjoying life. And I'm over here trying to get the trailer back to the yard at six o'clock at night on Christmas Eve, me missing my dinner. You know, things like that does just kind of roll back through my head. And so I was fortunate where my coach uh, went to school with my wife, girlfriend at the time, and uh, he kind of knew I was into health and fitness. And he reached out to me and he said, he said, hey, you know, man, you're into health and fitness. This could be a great opportunity for you to kind of shift gears, maybe get your life back on track as far as your relationship, uh, your finances, uh, things like that. And so as most of us do, and some of us know, it took me about seven months to show up. He had kept talking to me about this, and, and I finally came to a painful point. You know, they say pain pushes till vision pulls. And it came up on a day where uh, my boss, once again, uh, decided to lay into me uh, and start just talking demeaning stuff. And it was at that point, instead of just kind of soaking it up and dealing with it that day and coming back to work the next day and dealing with it, I had an option. And that was called Optivia. And so I actually went home uh, a little bit crazier than people recommend, but I went home and I, I called my coach and I said, okay, what's this program? Uh, what's all this stuff about? And he kind of reshared it with me. And my, my girlfriend at the time was struggling uh, with weight loss. She was a yo-yo dieter. Uh, so she really needed the health aspect. Little did I know, um, I thought I would lose five pounds on this program, uh, but I actually needed to get off of uh, three energy drinks a day, four to five cups of coffee a day, a pre-workout before the gym. I physically look fit, but I was destroying my insights. You know, and on a side note, hereditarily, my dad uh, had a quadruple bypass. 30% uh, of his heart was cut off and patched. So I was a walking time bomb. I couldn't even imagine doing that this last six years for my health. So... Anyways, uh, I called my coach. I ordered my, my uh, program. I ordered my um, business kit, and I was all in. Uh, in fact, I was so all in that two days later, I was tired of hearing my, my old boss's mouth, and I called my coach. I said, I'm done. Quit my job. Let's do this. And so without even having a client, uh, with having a little bit of a, um, a savings account, my goal was to match what I had made uh, monthly just to be able to stay home. In fact, a little bit less than that. I was making about $2,700 a month when I was getting paid what I worked. And so I was very excited. Uh, I was very taken back by this community. And when they talk about healthy mind, I inspire to be like people in this business every day. And so my coach uh, that following week had asked me to go to an event up in uh, a Salt Lake City area. And I looked at him kind of crazily because I just invested in this business. And uh, I said, where am I going to come up with a plane ticket? Where am I going to come up with money to stay at a hotel? I just did all this and I quit my job. And I was actually fortunate enough that I was blessed a family member share, uh, offered me uh, to lend me the money. And so I borrowed $372. I flew up to Salt Lake City. I went to this amazing event where there was about 400 like-minded people. And I was very taken back, like I said, how genuine and heartfelt they were. And uh, for me, I was kind of all in at that moment. It wasn't really about what they were doing. It was what about what did, what did I want out of that? Where were you from? Um, you know, what kind of, uh, what kind of uh, uh, ideas do you want to get out of this? And so from that point forward, I came back. I hit the ground running. I was able to match my income uh, far to, to exceed that. I'm actually at an executive income now what we would consider across the United States. And I'm just blessed. Uh, I'll be a father of a second child now coming up. I've been a full-time dad for the last three years uh, and very excited and blessed. I've been able to purchase a home and do things that my life I never would imagine at 36 years old I'd be able to do. Uh, and so I just hope that you reach out to people because preventative maintenance is what I said 
And I literally would be that 60 to 70 pound overweight construction worker by now, going the path I was uh, if I hadn't have found this. So David, thank you so much for having me on. I appreciate you guys and uh, everybody have a good evening on my end. You bet, Justin, thanks so much. And you know, your story is one of the great stories of uh, a life transformed. And you know, what we're doing with Optavia again is uh, helping people to create health and well-being in their life. And we focus on the trilogy and what Justin was experiencing and just sharing with you was his transformation. And he didn't have a big weight loss story, but what he had was a story. And what he just told you is the story that he shared with other people. And he's invited other people to experience what he's experienced based on their own personal situation. So maybe as you look into this uh, eye of this uh, circle here, you can start to begin to see maybe where you relate to this particular circle in regards to balance in your life. This is called our trilogy wheel. We actually go, use this as a guide to help individuals to establish a starting point. Where are you today in terms of your healthy body? Are you a two, a four, or six, or eight? Very few people are a 10. Uh, most people have something that they'd like to approve on in terms of their physical health. And then something in the area of mental health. Is there something that you'd like to improve in terms of your purpose, your spiritual time, more time for travel with family, um, maybe more time with friends because you're working too many hours or you're traveling a lot. Healthy finances, I think that everybody could have some improvement in finances. 62% uh, of Americans don't have more than $1,000 in their savings accounts, so most Americans could benefit from an improved financial situation, maybe a few hundred dollars or maybe a few thousand dollars. What we do in our program is really help people to get healthier and choose if they want to become a coach. And what we see is, is that coaches actually have a healthier um, environment because they're surrounding themselves with other people that want to get healthier. So whether people become a coach or not is up to them. This is not a wholesale buying club. This is not a recruiting model. People become a health coach because they want to. The cost of becoming a coach, only $199 with an annual renewal fee of $99. People don't have to go to events. Justin chose to go to an event and invest in himself and in his business because that was something that he wanted to do. There's a major event called our national convention, which is where all of our coaches come to once a year, if they choose to, to learn, to grow, and to communicate with other coaches. Any other events are completely optional. One of the next stories I want to share with you is um, one of the stories that really inspires me because as an entrepreneur and as a business owner, um, I had some concepts about what I was capable of in terms of this business model. But in the story that you're about to hear, you're gonna hear from individuals who own bricks and mortar businesses, who were very successful entrepreneurs that have been in the industry for over 15 years, but decided to transform the way that they were doing business to join Optavia because of some really heartfelt reasons. And I can't wait for you to hear more of their story. Robin and Kent, are you there? There you go, I got you unmuted. Thanks. All right. Thank you very much. Yeah. Um, you know, getting into the weight loss business or the, or the health business with Optivia is a whole lot cheaper than the uh, getting into the brick and mortar business for sure. <laughs> but uh, as David said, David, thank you for that introduction. Uh, so, you know, we've been in the weight loss business for, for 16 years, operated about 15, 16 clinics uh, up and down California. And, you know, it, 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 we did it because we loved it. We did it because we can make a living doing it. Um, but the reality is the world has changed and um, in, in a lot of ways. And one of the things that's changed is we started discovering Optavia uh, about two years ago. And we looked at our own business and what we were doing. We were helping people uh, lose weight and get healthy, um, but we were not um, building something that was gonna last uh, forever because the brick and mortar business is just not a model that's gonna last forever for a lot of businesses. And when we uh, saw Optavia and what Optavia does, uh, we were very attracted to it and uh, wanted to get into it. Yeah, I think um, one of the things is, as Kent said, we focused on weight loss. We didn't focus on changing lives. And that was really appealing um, when we looked at Optivia. Right. So, you know, we wanted to get involved in something that was going to flow nicely in the 21st century. And one of the beautiful, so we, we have transitioned our center business into Optivia and a more virtual business. You know, we kind of call it the Uberization of our, of our business model, if you will. 
uh, without the bad connotations. Um, <laughs> but the reality is something has changed along the way. And it has changed the way we do our jobs because you know, running a brick and mortar business, as with a lot of traditional businesses, you focus two thirds of your time on non-people issues. You know, you're, you're managing administration, you're managing finances and accounting and marketing, and a lot of these things that um, you're, you're for your whole, all your employees, but you're not really dealing with the clients themselves. And now that we've transitioned Optavia, not only have we gotten the benefit of the wonderful cutting edge perspective that is built into Optavia and the wonderful uh, fuelings that have been updated and, and are, are better than the fuelings we had, now we are much more in the people business. Instead of being in the back room managing things and managing people and policies and administration, now we are actually health coaches ourselves and we are managing and building and leading other health coaches. So now we are truly in the people business. And that's been transformational for us personally, uh, changing the way we approach our, our lives every day. And what, one of the things that's been really cool is as we're learning to be better health coaches ourselves and learning to be better leaders within Optavia, the skills we are learning to do this, turns out they're pretty relevant life skills. And these are skills that um, reflect on the rest, you know, in our parenting, in our relationships with other people. The, this has been the hidden benefit of getting involved in Optavia is our personal transformation, not just in weight, although we were in the weight loss business for 16 years, and we probably always carried an extra 20 pounds. <laughs> Getting involved in Optavia now, we have both gotten down much closer to our optimal weight and are in much better health. And that's been inspiring to other people um, in our lives. And I want to give one just quick example. I've been in an executive support group. Uh, it's called Vistage for the last 10 years. And of these 12 executives and leaders, none of those guys ever joined our clinic business because you had to walk in there. There's a little bit of a stigma. You had to lay down a thousand bucks. Uh, to join. But once we switched over to Optavia and these guys started hearing what type of business this was, all of a sudden eight of them signed up in March and collectively lost about 200 pounds together. And that wouldn't have happened in our old business model because now we can be where the clients are. We can interact with them the way they want to interact. And we can reach way beyond our geographical boundaries that uh, brick and mortar possesses. Exactly. So to kind of summarize, this has been a huge transformation for us personally. And the whole Optavia um, leadership principles that we didn't talk about tonight, uh, but they are, you know, we've been looking at the amazing uh, or the not amazing, but the, uh, the terrible health trends in the United States for 16 years. Now we feel like we can reach more people with greater value, greater access uh, and greater relational value uh, with those clients. Great, thanks so much Robin and Kent and excited to have you guys partnered up with us now and to really make a dent. And as you can see from the statistics is that there's a huge need for what it is that we're doing. And obviously it's attracting top entrepreneurs and business leaders like Kent and Robin to join our movement. And when you look at some of the financial statistics of where America is at, the opportunity of becoming a coach is very attractive to people because it's a different kind of a business model. It's not a traditional model and it's not something that has been uh, seen before. It's a very unique business model. And we'll go into a little bit more detail on that. But when you see the financial need and you see the physical need and the mental need for something like Optavia, you see how significant of an opportunity this is. Uh, the biggest uh, benefit is that this is something that is actually an international problem. So we have a benefit and a problem at the same time. We actually have the opportunity to go international with our business model here in the, in the coming years to begin to expand beyond just the U.S. borders. So not only are we helping people in our own country, but going into other countries. And so if you have, to, if you have a passion around going after an international business, you can do that with Optavia. As our final panelist comes on, I want to share with you a little bit about Brian's story. Brian actually has been... Uh, one of the uh, long-standing coaches and leaders in our company. And uh, he has a, a great background and story to tell because he was one of the early pioneers that paved the way for so many of us. We drink from the well that Brian and Dr. A and Dan Bell, our uh, leaders in our company, have dug. And I can't wait for you to hear a little bit more about his story and how he's using Optavia to feed all these kids of his. Brian, welcome to the webinar, buddy.
Hey, Dave. Can you hear me okay? You bet. Good to see you, buddy. Good to see you, too. I was kind of worried about my internet connection here, but hopefully it's, it's going to go okay. Uh, <laughs> well, thanks for having me on and uh, love the stories before me. Uh, great stories and, and uh, great insights to really what it is we have in our hands with Optavia. And yeah, I'm able to feed my, uh, my big family with this, uh, with this business. <laughs> um, I have seven kids. I have two grandkids. And uh, as a, uh, I look back 17 years ago when I first started in this business, I was uh, like Justin, I was a contractor. Well, I was, I was I actually had my own business as a contractor, but I felt like the business owned me. And my four oldest kids, I, I can't remember. In fact, we were talking about the other day, my son was saying, dad, the only time I ever really remember you as when I was a little kid is when you take me to work and, and, uh, a couple times and usually at night sometimes you'd come in when I was going to bed but that's about it uh, and so you know life has totally changed for us now and I'm able to be there for my kids I have I, I kind of a crazy family you know we have a five-year-old and then we got a 25 year old uh, going 26 with two grandkids and the grandkids are about the same age as the younger ones <laughs> um, so a little bit nuts but uh, but it keeps I guess it keeps me young um, but it, it it's but the thing is I look at now today where I'm at uh, we're out here in uh, Mesa Arizona I'm going to an event here with some of the uh, people that I have on my team and uh, we're able to do things that we never did before we're able to travel we're we're able to have the the time freedom and the and the financial freedom to be able to do the whatever we want to do next year we're going to be doing a lot of traveling with our family and of course I just have the young kids now uh, I got an older kid actually it's going to help. Uh, uh, with the young kids. <laughs> um, so that's good. But I look at this business as such a powerful business model. And we know the program is great. I mean, those of you that have done the program, you know, the program is just the best thing out there as far as a program to help people get healthier. The cool thing about the business model is that we don't get paid as coaches unless somebody gets healthier. I mean, think about that for a second. Like I have never had in the 17 years I've been doing this, somebody come back and say, why did you get me into that? Now, unfortunately, I've done a couple things along the way before Optavia, being a contractor, looking for a, a kind of a way out. Um, I've done a couple things where people have asked me those questions. <laughs> so I talk from experience. And uh, when uh, Kent and Robert were talking about brick and mortar and getting out of that, I mean, I totally relate to that. Um, I couldn't believe the overhead I had, you know, with my other business and what I went through. I actually went through a business bankruptcy the time that the year that I got involved in this. And that was really hard, but it was so much money going, going out, not as much money coming in as I'd like. And when you start hiring managers and other things, and what's interesting about employees is I'd, I'd, I'd hire these employees, the ones that weren't not that great. Um, not the Justins of course, but the ones that were not that great. Uh, you know, I could keep them maybe, but the ones that were really good, they would, they would figure it out and, and usually they become my competitors like the next year or two. And so I love this business model where we help the people that want to be helped. You know, we, we actually work with the people that want to do the business or that want to do the program. Like it's not like pulling teeth. I mean, I, I, I get to figure out like what people want and then I help the ones that want it. And so I love that about this business model. And what's interesting about my other conventional business is that 80% of the money that came in went back out. I was lucky to keep the other 20. With this, it's totally switched. <laughs> like I, I, I can spend all day 20% and you know, do the events and do the things Justin was talking about and, and build my business. And I don't, I don't have to worry about that other 80% um, you know, spend, spending that money. Uh, but the other thing too is it, it, we have a very unique business model and coming from a couple of different businesses where I was in like uh, direct sales companies, I talk from experience here because I was in other models where I would see people on stage that were making all this money. And that's really the big focus of a lot of the ones I saw before was the money with ours. It's like the life changes, the, the, uh, the transformations that we get to see people have, we get to help people transform their lives, both physically and financially and mentally. We get to see those transformations and we actually have something that's going to help them, you know, um, long term versus short term. But a lot of these things that I that I that I've seen in the past, 
uh, from experience, at least the ones I saw, was some we'd see people on stage uh, talking about this money they're making, and we're like, oh, we can do that, we can do that. And, and, and in some cases, I'd have people come back to me and say, Brian, if you just stick in there for a year, two years, three years, you know, you're going to make some money. And with this business, honestly, I made money right out of the gate, you know, because I, I had clients and they, I was servicing them. And so I kind of use this analogy. I've talked to you about this, Dave, uh, earlier today, but I use this analogy of people trying to climb the ladder of success only to find out when they get to the top of that ladder that it's actually leaning against the wrong building. And the building is a house of cards and it falls unless you keep on doing what you're doing. Unless you keep on, like there's no, you don't really build equity into your business, if that makes sense to you. With this business, you can build equity into your business for life. You can build that equity as you're, as you're, as you're acquiring clients and servicing them, as you're sponsoring coaches and helping them succeed. So the person that does the work, that services the client, makes the most money, and that gives us longevity that gives us equity because if people are making money and they're happy and they're happy with what they're doing and they feel fulfilled they're not going to go somewhere else so we have a pretty high retention rate in what what it is we do and i love that because to me it's all about retention if you're not if you're not retaining people if people are going elsewhere then you don't really have an equity business in our business model, we have a lot of people that stick with us because we have a great community like this. We have people that, that love and care about us. They actually care about our well-being, and we have um, people that are all in, like you guys, that, that really want to move this mission forward, and it's mission-based, you know? I want, I want to share something really quick because I had a guy the other day. I guess, it was, I guess it was a few months ago, but I was thinking about it the other day and the guy uh, that I have that got involved, he got involved in the program and then actually signed up as a coach, but he had this other business that he was doing and, and he was buying up real estate and he was doing a lot of things with real estate, but he was making lots of money and he was telling me about some of these adventures he was doing. He's like, you got to diversify. You got to do this, 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 this. And so I was looking at some of these things that he was, he was doing. He said, well, you dump this money in here. You make this money. You know, and he talked about residual income. But one thing that his business didn't have that this business has is that when I'm building my business in Optavia, I'm helping the masses. Like I'm helping the client, I'm helping the coach, I'm helping them build a residual income, helping them build an equity business to where they can have some of that freedom, that time freedom, and some of those things that they want in their life. As, as an employer, I was never able to do that because I'd only pay the employee so much because I couldn't pay him anymore. With this business model, Sky's the limit. We're able to help people achieve what they want to achieve in this business. With a, with, a, with, a, with a conventional business, you don't have that. You don't have that ability to help pay it forward in that, in that magnitude. And this guy, when I was talking to him, I said, well, this is, what, this is what this is missing. And he goes, you know, he says, you make a good point. <laughs> and I said, I want to build a legacy. I want to actually help other people and have them help other people and build a legacy that I can leave behind. Because this is about the mission. This is about, this is about helping other people achieve their goals and their dreams. And, and about achieving ours too. So this is a very big business to be involved in. This is a very big mission. And uh, it's, it's a lot of fun along the way. But um, David, uh, you were talking, we were talking a little bit earlier about how you become an Optivia coach and a business coach and a business leader. And I love this model because you're not going to make money if you just think you're going to go in and recruit people with this business. This is not about that. This is about servicing a client and seeing them succeed. So you become a coach first, then you become a business coach if you choose that. And then you become a business leader if you choose that and you grow into that. Yeah, most of the businesses are uh, around direct sales or you know, network marketing are really about recruiting. It's about going out there and getting a bunch of people to become a business owner, where this business is actually built around servicing clients as a coach. And then if you choose to train and equip other certified coaches to go out there and do the work, you can do that. Um, but the only way that you get paid is if you help them to become successful. There's no upfront fee that's split with the coach that's sponsoring them. It's simply, hey, if you help them to help other people to get healthy, and the only way they're going to get healthy is by practicing healthy lifestyle habits. There's no stimulants or drugs or anything inside of our products. So the only way that you're going to do well as a coach is if you help people to practice healthy lifestyle. 
And that's the cool thing is we actually help people to practice lifestyle habits. And so um, this is one of the things that I love about the business is that there's opportunities for growth and go growth is unlimited in terms of how hard you want to work and where you want to take this business. If you want to help a few friends, if you want to help your, your parents to get healthy or your kids to get healthy and that's it, you can do that. There's no pressure or hype. There's no minimum quotas that you have to meet. The business is flexible. You don't have to stock any inventory. You can have a cell phone and a computer travel where you want determine what hours you want to work. And most people are pretty flexible about how you are working with them. So you don't have to get all dressed up in a suit and tie and go do a presentation. You can be you, you can be around your kids. You can take your kids places and just be social and be conversational and tell people about how you're helping people to get healthy. And you can actually build a successful opt to be a business. The training program, you don't have to be a serial entrepreneur like some of us that have had some experience there. You can be like Justin, who just wanted to be free from the uh, volunteer incarceration that he was working at in terms of his job. He just wanted to go to a system that worked because the system worked, not because he worked all the time. And if you do well um, in this business, you will do good in a lot of people's lives. And if you follow the training system and you work with your mentorship team, which every single one of our coaches have, you'll actually create a healthy business. And as you grow, the business will grow. And by helping more people to get healthy, you can also uh, be rewarded very, very nicely. This is our Optivia Income Disclosure Statement. You can get more information on the website to get more specific details of how the income compensation plan works. As you can see, there's a range of income. People that don't help very many people to get healthy don't earn a lot of income, but they do get healthier by helping other people to get healthy. So some people become a coach, not for financial reasons, but for accountability and encouragement on their own health journey. So we do have some people that are not doing this for money, they're doing it for their own personal health or maybe for the health of a friend or family member. And then we have people out there that are doing extremely well by helping a lot of people to get healthy. So I hope that this presentation is giving you a nice overview of what the Optivia Coach Opportunity has to offer. If you have questions or concerns and you wanna have more of a conversation, reach out to the person that shared this video or invited you to this webinar and get some more details from them and see if Optivia and the coach opportunity is the right fit for you. So on behalf of Justin and Robin and Kent and Brian, I want to say thanks for joining us tonight. We hope that you enjoyed this presentation. If you're watching a recording of this, please share this with somebody that you think would benefit of knowing about what Optivia is all about because we are on a mission to get America healthy and then the world and we need more people like you and your friends and family members to join us on the journey. Thanks, everybody, and have a good night. This audio may have contained the personal testimonials of some Optavia coaches or clients of Optavia. The results relayed in these messages are based on the unique experiences of the participants, and we cannot guarantee like or similar outcomes. While you may be inspired by these accounts, Please note that any stories of success have not been verified and your individual path to optimal health will vary. As always, it is our recommendation that you consult with a healthcare provider before starting a weight loss program. Yours in health, the Optavia team.